Okay. I was thinking oh, eight yeah. two. What up, Jay? What up, what, what up? up, homie Jay? What up, what up? How you feeling tonight, my good brother? All right, all right. Can't complain. I'm gonna fill you in. I'm gonna fill you in as soon as I get through with Nita the diva, who's looking like a diva, making sure we get that super chat money, y'all. She don't come and get all that makeup and dressed up for nothing. This is the electronic paint. You feel me? This is the electronic pink. She dressed up, start serving out them super chats, nice and healthy and fat, okay? Need her. That's yeah. right. That's, that, not, you ain't roulette, is you? No. You ain't roulette? Okay, okay. My name is Sweet Chardonnay. Ooh. Um, sweet Chardonnay. <laughs> okay. Who said, who, who, is, said who, who is Sweet Chardonnay? That's, that's my own. Um, that's you know, some of the women they have an alter ego when they go out. Some of some of these women name they lace front like Sasha and stuff like that. So you know, hey, name they lace they front. They name it yeah. name yeah. it Tasha from Power. Tasha <laughs> Fierce. You know what? Fierce. Listen, I have this one wig, and someone told me. I look like Tasha. <laughs> 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 they thought they thought you had your son in the dope game. <laughs> right. Yeah. Nita, talk to me about how you felt about this season. How would you rank it? The season overall for me. Overall. I'm gonna give it a ten. It's a ten across the board for me. Mm. It is, it is. Now the season finale, however. It's, it was a little, mm-hmm. but it was still good. But it was just, you know, some things I kind of had some nitpicky things with. But overall, this was a great piece of art. I love the inclusion. I love the diversity. I love all of the different messaging and themes that they hit on. It's perfect. It was good. I, 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 I wanted to give them a 10. I really in my heart i wanted to but i think that finale there's certain things that's why i took it to 8.5 i could be tripping but i'll I'll give it a nine you know can i I give it a nine i'm gonna give it a nine i I can't wait to hear what 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 did y'all not like about the finale jay i'm gonna come to you with the same question but before i do will lawrence came through saying need my caramel queen Uh uh-oh hey will not not the Caribbean queen, my caramel queen. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I appreciate you, homie. We good looking out for us on that. J Mo, how would you rank this overall season of P Valley season two? All right. Um. So for me, um, I really like this season. I thought it was a good season. I thought they did a good job. Um, it was entertaining, uh, interesting. And uh, I, I liked it. I think they, I'm looking forward to them getting a season three. As far as uh, the finale, I like the finale. I didn't have a problem with it uh, as far as it going with the story. I, nothing popped out to me. And uh, a lot of times people say I be nitpicking. But, I mean, uh, nothing glaring, you know, out there about it to me. The that I noticed. Um, so for the finale, I would get a finale about an eight and a half. Um, it was it was good. It was it was I liked it. And then for the show, I would get a show about an eight and a half this season. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cause like okay. to me, ten is perfection. That's like The Wire, Sopranos. You know what I'm saying? That's like mm-hmm. Rare Air, greatest stuff you've seen and. It was really good. It was above average, but I wouldn't say when I'm naming the greatest shows I've seen. Did you see P Valley? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but it's not bad though. It's a good yeah. show, and I would recommend it. I have recommended it, and uh, it's 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 enjoyable. It, it'll give you laughs, and some people it'll give you some cries. <laughs> And uh, it'll keep you tuned in. So, what more could you want for an hour TV show? You know what I mean? It, it delivers. Right. So, so I like it. And I would give season one about an eight and a half. So, I think that uh, they they both 
are good in their own ways, um, but they do work together. So uh, season two, in a way, was a little better to me, but they both have their their moments, you know, to shine. So, you know, I wouldn't say it's so much better that season one doesn't look any good. You know what I mean? So, that's my thoughts on that. I, I give it an eight and a half. I'm I'm at a nine. Um, I get what Jay is saying about um, when you think of greatest shows, it needs to be a perfection. I think the issue with that is they only own season two. Right. And right. If, if if they if this show can get to a season five. And it still have this level of intensity. Now we talking. When, now you're talking a 10. Right, right. That's when you're definitely talking a 10. Right. And I believe that they have set this thing up in a way where it can keep that level of intensity. For me, I felt like um, season one was good, but I gave season one about a seven. And I really felt like they stepped things up this season way more than they did mm-hmm. in the first season, even though the first season was good. Um, they really went deeper this season with stuff that a lot of people don't want to write about, stuff that a lot of people don't want to see from men on men action to stepdaddy on stepdaughter action to men beating women and beating the children action. A lot of real life stuff that happens, they put in this story. And I got to give them credit for being that adventurous, especially with their core audience, not some always being that adventurous. So that's why I'm rating it a nine. And for me, I give the finale a nine and a half. The finale had everything I wanted. It had just enough teasers for the next season that I was like, I can't wait to see it. But I didn't feel like, oh, I got to see it tomorrow. And I felt like they sold up enough of the storylines from this season that I could be satisfied with this season if the show was to end right now. I'd be satisfied with how they wrapped it up. But I want to see what they're going to uncover for the things they set up for next season. Definitely want to see. Go ahead. ahead. I I thoroughly enjoyed the finale. My Mm -hmm. gripe is with a specific character with Keyshawn's situation, there was some things that was unrealistic mm-hmm. not add up, so that's where my gripe is, but yeah, uh, besides, I that, besides that I love the finale I tell you what, since the ladies is, since the ladies got gripes about that, why don't we start this, this review, my people with that Keyshawn issue, and we're going to dive right on into it I got the clip and I love having these clips because when my wife is up here, I love just antagonizing the hell out of her with these clips. I love pulling out the, the receipts. So let's start out with that because this bothered the hell out of me. And this white lady and the way she was speaking, if you ain't watched my review, you got to know that just rubbed me the wrong way. Take a look at this shit. Did they heard sounds coming from the house, Keyshawn? Start up the night you decided to come back. You'll have to comply with weekly check-ins in your home for the next six months. Six months? Yes, ma'am. Six months. You can't do anything for yourself. You are just a fucking stripper. I did not need that white lady talking some yes, ma'am, bitch. <laughs> Go ahead, Moochie, you first. You, you, you first. got me raising my hand like I'm ready to testify. This, this ain't right. saved by the bell, Moochie. Put your hand down. Ready, this ain't look, saved by the bell. I'm Moochie. mad at this whole situation because how you get the balls, Keyshawn, to now attack this dude in front of all of these people? Mm. But meanwhile, you cowering down when other stuff happens. Mm. Just, I was just mad at the whole thing. I'm mad at the whole thing for the simple fact is the way they they played it. They, they, they she, Sorry. First of all, she was out of town. <laughs> she was out of town when the whole thing, when when the baby got the bruises. So mm-hmm. I, I'm just like, this is not, this is not realistic. And mm. he's sitting over there smiling like a chess eye cat. Oh, oh, I got the clip, Moochie. Let, let yeah, me let me go. No, no, no! You got you got to see the face of a dumbass white man that won. You got to see his face. This is his face. 
That's the face of it, y'all. That's the face of Colonel Sanders. That's the face of General Lee. When they feel like they done got over on you and they really not that bright. Keep that in mind. That's the face of But here's let me let me tell you how unbright his ass is. Ain't Keyshawn paying all the bills? Mm. Yup. He, he just got a job, remember? So now I guess he good. He got a job, so now he's thinking oh. he good. Oh, okay. Well, who, go, who, good. Gonna ta- who gonna take care of the kids? He gonna be dropping the kids back off at the stepmom house? He ain't gonna is- keep that job on. You know how he is. He don't think that far. They don't even think that far. Mm. He, he's not gonna keep that job. He's not gonna keep that job. He's a psychopath. And that, ba- and that man is gonna touch them babies again. I'm about to pull him mm. He's gonna hit them babies again. <laughs> I mean, you next, Monique. Jay, you last. Peter, you next. Mo, Mo, we got Saved by the Bell action going on. People raising their hand like Zach Morris and stuff, folks. Monique Nicole is next. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I have two issues. Okay. Issue number one. Um, it was a reach for me with Derek's action. So, I don't really understand how he assumed and knew that she was going to leave town simply because she was running errands like Mm -hmm. for me in the writing it would have made so much more sense had they wrote it to where okay he found the proof or he found evidence that she was trying to leave put that in there he found the phone he found put that in there so it's like a for sure thing okay he knows how like why did he jump to the extreme of getting the feds involved because she was running errands. And I, I get when she first walked in the room, she said, now, Derek, I know what it looks like, but let me explain. So I just... I think it I, was a coincidence. You think? I do, too. Yeah. yeah I think it was a coincidence. That was a coincidence that that happened. Wait, wait, wait. Elaborate on that yeah. part. Help me. Help that me. The, the people got involved right when she was trying to leave. Uh, I don't think oh, Derek no, no. did I, that. You don't, I don't think, think Derek that part. I don't think Derek called the people to get involved just so she don't leave. I think that was a coincidence. Oh. Y'all okay. think, Lamont, you think he called the people to get involved on purpose? Yeah, I think he called I think he called the people on purpose, but I don't think that he knew she was about to leave. Okay. I don't think that, I don't think he knew anything about her about to leave, but he I do. just don't want her dancing at the pink no more. Exactly. He wants to control her so she's not out doing anything. He's trying to segregate her to being stuck at the house, not doing nothing. I don't think he has any idea she was leaving, but he what he just did got her stuck having to check in. He knows her whereabouts. They know her whereabouts because she's got to go to mental health and she's got to check in. Yes, honey, for six months. But she can still go to uh, work at the pink. Everybody, a lot of people are saying that some people are saying he's not smart enough, and then some people are saying yes, they feel like he called it and he had some type of pull. Um, he do got pulled with, with his his family is rich in that community and they are connected in that community. So if anything, his family might be the ones that said do this, do that, and told his dumbass. But this is not the face of someone who's bright. I call him dumbass daddy daycare for a reason. So I do believe that maybe the mama or somebody else got involved with him. But as far as him knowing Keyshawn was leaving, he ain't know she was about to go. Okay. That was him trying to control, control. Keyshawn okay. some more. That's okay. all that was. Because okay. that could have backfired on him. It could. But I, that's I, I wish it would have. I wish it would have. You're Nita, mute. You on mute. You're on mute. You're, you're on mute. mute, Nita. You're on mute. Sorry. It should have backfired on him because... In all actuality, you don't know who. That was my second. That was my second point. That entire situation should be under investigation. The whole house. Whole house. The whole house. The whole house. Yeah, not just her. He just gonna point the finger. So so (laughs) that's what. That's why I'm telling y'all it's white privilege. Because if you take a look at everything that's in this room, everything in this room is about white. And his family is connected in a town that's about white. But because Derek when you also normally that seed, he when you normally when you normally call CPS for mm-hmm. this, everyone living in the house is getting investigated. 
it don't matter. It don't matter who. It ain't supposed to matter. Yep. You know, even anyway. if it's not your child, you get investigated. Uh -huh. Even if it's not your child, everybody. And if I know I owe the daycare. I had to do you this. Get investigated. Right. You yeah. get investigated. Yeah. Yep. And <laughs> usually, usually whoever calls CPS on them, you have to sign uh, an affidavit saying that you've heard X Y Z. You see X Y Z. Whatever. And sometimes people don't do that because they'd be afraid of people like dumbass Derek. Right. Because they don't want their name to be attached to an affidavit. But so that was this was what this is why privilege. Unrealistic. So okay. in Lamont, let me ask you, since you have some background in this, as mm -hmm. far as the check-ins, is that realistic? Or do you think because of the severity of the injury of the child, do you think they would have taken the children out the home immediately? Or would they have played it this route? with the, the check-ins for six months. What, what is your take on that? Um, it, they pro it depends on how bad those bruises and stuff were. They still had bruises on them and all that. Normally in this situation, the child's getting pulled for a little while. The child's yeah. getting pulled. You had to give them to like the next of kin or somebody like that because these kids had some bad bruises on them. And like I said, the only re like normal situation, Derek would not be able to keep these kids. That no one in this house can keep these kids. This is white privilege at its worst. That's the undertone here. Okay. This is some white privilege at its at its finest. You had all the white people ganging up on Keyshawn, made her snap. But under normal circumstances, kids would have been out. You would have had to go to court. You would have had to go to these these um, psychological evals. You would have had check ins. You would have had to do. A, and they would drug tested your ass too. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to find every way to figure out what is going on that something is happening to these children before mm -hmm. you can get them back. They okay. would have done all that. So that was my problem, y'all. That was that was my that was my problem. It's just not realistic. You know what else? Um, no, I think she was hearing certain stuff go on in her head. How yeah, things mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. played out. Yeah. Right, and she, and was she hearing just happened stuff. to. She was here, yeah, right. Stripper and all of that other stuff, mm -hmm. and yeah, she yeah. was hearing stuff, mm -hmm. and that's what made her redline. It all came it was the down. Down. It was all in yeah. her head. Mm -hmm. But I do feel that now that she's locked up, if those mm. kids are not out the house, it's going to happen again because he can't control himself. Right, of course, he can't control himself. It's going to happen again. And hopefully she should have handled this right when she saw the bruises on his back, on, right. on that baby's back the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was Look, the perfect time. I was time. out of town. She, she overlooked it, and we don't even know if that the black doctor told anything. What black Jay, doctor? Speak, the, the, the female assistant, the, the medical assistant that was yeah. being yeah. on yeah. the rim because right. she saw the bruises first. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't know if she made a complaint. And speak on it, Jay. They, the brother, the, I mean, the, the doctor diffused the situation. Right. Now, te now here's, Jay, before you go, here's another thing. I don't know how no other state do it. But normally, when a child come in with that level of bruise and it looked like it was inflicted, a mm -hmm. lot of times the medical provider um, has a responsibility to report to. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. We all thought that, we, remember, we all were saying how crazy that was that it was no report, you know. Like, and what? Like, and, and what did I call it? Then? It up what to did him, I? His people knew. Like, exactly. His people knew. I, yeah, and I said white privilege again. We did. And that's what you got in the end. Same thing. Jump in there, Jay. Yeah, I mean, she. I wish she wouldn't have lost her cool then, mm. um, considering mm. everything that she went through. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, um, it did make her look guilty in front of their eyes. Because you know how he tried to play like he was all protecting himself and all balled up on the couch. Yeah. Yeah, to Ooh. try to make it look like she's the the, the villain in, in, in uh, the house and beating on him and beating on the kids, which was oh. just, yeah, that yeah. was horrible. That looked like he, he loved it when the plan come together right there, you know, his mm -hmm. little, little evil Straight plan. Straight 18. Right, little yep. Dr. Evil in the beginning the beginning seasons <laughs> so <laughs> but uh and look and jay there's more to this scene that should enrage the female well all of us should be enraged but 
some of the females who are mothers should be enraged too, Jay. I'm gonna let you finish your point, but I'm gonna just show this slide. Y'all should be mad as hell at this woman too. Man. And she pissed me off too. She pissed me off in the, in the sister standing back there. Like she, you couldn't, you couldn't hit her up with a text message and say, look, Derek came by and took the babies. I'm giving right. you a heads up. Right. Mm. Come mm. on, you can't be that. You can't be that. She you can't be like, that scary. And that's, yeah. that's her own house. The mother, man, mm. I'm so irritated. Like this, mm. I'm just. Yeah. Let Jay, let Jay finish. Then y'all can dig in on um, the the knockoff Victoria Raul. <laughs> yes, that was messed up on how she just thinks Derek is so great. Um, I don't know how she doesn't realize or hasn't seen all the things and beat uh, bruises that, that's been on her body all this time, but I guess she ignores all that. And this girl on the steps is a grown-ass girl. Why she couldn't text or call her or say something like, what, her mama going to beat her up? I mean, I don't get it. Jay, Jay, the only thing I can think with her is that she is so psychologically traumatized by what the stepdaddy is doing to her. It has been doing to her since she was young that she's just, she's she's just, you know, downtrodden. Broken. Yeah, broken. Yes, yeah. just downtrodden. I mean, look at the way she's holding herself. That's that's right. that's holding yourself Protective. in a manner of inse- yeah. yes, insecure and all that. Look at her face, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she was all sure. secure when she was walking out of that school with that cheerleading dress on. <laughs> you mean tell me you couldn't Mo- put some bass in your voice and say something? We could have just been as, as simple as a text. She could have been like, she could have been like that back there. Look, like, come on. <laughs> That's and true. I'll tell you everything. Come on, she could see the mother. She- how many Moochie, times you warn somebody like that? Where he's like, right, and the person be right there. But how oh, she just? How she let the mama come up in her crib and and dictate some shit? That's not her house. That's the mama house. Yeah. She how but she, she she's still what, living there. Weren't they in a mansion? Weren't they in a mansion? Nina, Nina hit the did the time thing last time we talked about this. It gotta be at least maybe three to four years after she got out of high school. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So she's a yeah. college student. Yeah. Like yeah. twenty. She's she at least twenty one. Yeah. yeah. Apartment. Twenty one year olds have apartments in college. Not, well, not not when you effing your daddy. Your Come on now. Yeah. 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 We gonna let that out his sight. Look, I'm, gonna, I'm keeping it funky with y'all tonight. Well, that that, that, that ain't that's the same right. house. That I'm where she. The, that's yeah. not the mom's house. I'm almost positive that's right. the daughter's, sure. that's the daughter's sure. apartment. That's definitely positive. not the same she house play that mansion. That she ain't say nothing in the mother's house. Well, because she she, she, from she did say point. at the sisters the sisters crib. She it's ain't say at the step at the stepmom. She said at the sisters. Then, crib. I, then I'm even mad more mad at this situation Ooh. that Ooh. you didn't have the um. You couldn't put your foot down and be like, no, I'm watching these babies. I got this till she get back. Right. She mm-hmm. played herself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The mama probably came okay, for the so apartment. I, I see everybody play. saying it's a different house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's that, it's, that's the sister's crib. That is she definitely the sister's crib. She mm-hmm. played herself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. 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 So let me ask you this as we move on from that story. Do you want to see them in season three pick up more on the relationship between Keyshawn, her sister that didn't help her, and whatever's going to happen to Derek? Because Keyshawn did put that call in, y'all. And Jay, I'm going to go in reverse order and start with you. Keyshawn put that call in to Hut Knight and Sean and Armour, who was supposed to come get her, but we'll talk about what happened to him. So where is that going to leave Keyshawn right now? And here's the point my wife brought up, Jay. That car with all the money in it. Was Keyshawn dumb enough to drive that car over there? I think explicably, yes. Well, how else is she going to get over there? She does not have a predilection to use Uber or to use a taxi. We learned that in the episode where she should have used some of those services. So no, she couldn't. She couldn't. She, she couldn't use that. When she used Uber last time for uh, getting her and he it, got, was, it was less than three seconds 
he called her phone. He yeah. got, he he tracking her phone. That's cool. You could easily use use Uber, get where you need to go, leave the phone in the car because obviously she knows it's a trap on the on the phone, and let Uber drive off wherever it wants to go while you get in the way, you go get you a burner. It's just like that. It's just like that. I mean, I figured this one out, you know, one, two, three. If I don't need to be found, I'm putting my phone in there. Oh, my wife might be listening. There's a tracker on my phone, so let me shut the hell up. What I'm saying is, for TV purposes, if you want that phone to look like it's still moving and, and moving about, you just leave it in the car like that and then get you a, um, a burner. That's all you do. And plus, she had the burner phone that um, Autumn gave her. Alexa. Her business to Alexa. Yes. yes. That's Stop. what I'm saying. So Jay, Stop. You, uh-oh. Jay, Jay's, Jay's talking to Alexa. Somebody, that man, y'all know, he got Alexa. big contracts going on his face. Stop. Yeah. Hot, hot Alexa, play. stop. I know. Look at him. Lushing and shit. I'm let smiling me, let me, at y'all, let me, man. Let me find out. He was cheap. Let me find out. Baby, I'm doing this live. I'll get back to you. Baby, I'm doing this live. I'll get back to you. I, I saw no. that. I read your lips. I like. I like. like I like the way like, y'all baby, think. Watch me, <laughs> baby. I'm doing so, this live. Go on. You can put it so, on. So, YouTube. Jay, where do you want to see them go next season, Jay, with the Keyshawn line? Where you want to see them go? Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, she ain't getting out of town, so she will be back next season, yep. at least for six months, and uh, <laughs> of story time. And so uh, I thought a lot of people thought as well this cop might break her arm or injure her some way, um, but that wasn't the case. But I mean, they are really milking this storyline. Um, a lot of people thought Derek would have got killed by now, or something would have happened. And now that Diamond is gone, because she just talked oh. Diamond into killing him right. for her, and now he about to fight for his life. Cause he yes. might be gone his damn self. That means mm. Derek will be around for a while. Cause Whoa. yeah, if Diamond ain't take him out, she probably ain't gonna never have the guts to do it or mm-hmm. leave him like she should. So yeah, you still got Wody. Right, she better go well, holler at that's Wody. Where she should have went to. But to Jay's point, I'm really surprised that the writers chose to drag this this shit out. I'm just kind of like, all right, it's kind of, uh, I feel like by season three, we're going to be sick of it. People were already sick of it. Yeah. I'm really shocked they, they're dragging it out because it's, I, I have that feeling now of just like, oh, we're going to, it's going to continue. Like, ugh. I hope it's resolved by episode, by like the mid finale. You, you know, know, they have like what, a mid season thing. I hope it's solved by then. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, what storyline I'm tired of them dragging out? From is it one the Montavious thing? <laughs> yeah, the Montavious. I was talking about this ghost in the first and second episode, and it was just kind of like sprinkled and sprinkled. And then we going into a whole nother season with mm-hmm. this. And he already well, told them in, the, in season one that his, that his people was coming and something happened to him. And it Haley's took the, the Haley to get him. The Haley's not coming back that we've seen from this season. She's not coming back. Oh, uh, no. So, I no, read not, that, yeah. not that actress. No, not that particular actress. She's a British actress, by the way. So, so step wow. Back from the show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so I don't I put it back. So, basically, yeah. she took the money and got out of Dodge. So, she robbed yeah. him, just like she robbed Montavious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now she but got Luke, not but, only them looking for her. Got them she American got dollars. But wait, y'all, there's a there's a big problem here. There's a big problem. So since we already talked about Montavious and his crew and the ring and all that, let's play that clip too. And then there's other issues going on with this besides Diamond. Take a look at this. Oh, Diamond. Hey, Big Bone can fight too, man. Did y'all see them hind parts swinging all over the place? Yeah, she oh, know karate. <laughs> she, was she, she was up there looking like Mortal Kombat and shit. I thought she, she was Sonya She was Sonya, like Sonya they was Bone. in the yard. <laughs> yeah. Like, take Mochi. a look at this. Sonya Big Bone. She don't want shit out of the tent. It'd be too easy, nigga. (laughs) 
Mm. Nita, I'm gonna start with you on this. One Jack. <laughs> and, le and let me interject this, Nita. Mm -hmm. Big Bone heard the conversation when Mercedes said that she shot the wrong one. She heard that conversation. So is there not going to be some retribution that needs to come to everybody that helped cover this thing up from Sadie's to Big L to Uncle Cliff? I've already said the Pea Valley crew that is going to have to come and save Diamond's ass is going to be this superhero crew right here. Duffy, <laughs> Big L, and Roulette. Because when you need someone who is fierce, who's fearless, Roulette is that dog in the fight you want to have on your team. This is going to have to be the superhero team to go get Diamond. Nita, floor is yours. She's too selfish. You know, the, the thing about that is I think they don't the other people, the people that she told knows her her story, her narration. So however she wanna spin that, if she's protecting Mercedes and she's protecting oh. everybody else and got everything focused to Diamond, then that's who's gonna get the heat. Diamond is gonna get the heat. But they made a fatal call. I told you, whenever y'all don't take that opportunity to kill that person, you always have the chance for the person to get some kind of superhuman strength and <laughs> Like it. Uh, <laughs> how they gonna do it? How they gonna how the super how, human, how, how superhuman strength work? <laughs> how that old man strength work? We need to see it and hear it again. Show us, show us again, Nina. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You remember he was getting activated. He was getting activated from that PTSD, the mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all that stuff. So he's gonna come back with a vengeance, and mm -hmm. that's gonna be okay. But yeah, he's oh, I, I just I agree with Nita. I'm on board with this. I already got my theory going down at midnight. So check it out, y'all. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah, Nita, right here with that. Lucci, I thought you and me both agreed last night that they probably gonna torture him a little bit to try to get. He's gonna get tortured. Okay. okay. But, I, I, but I I went back and watched it again because last okay. night I only watched it one time. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm dropping my video at midnight, and and, and I, I I gave the breakdown of what what I think, why I think, and what's gonna happen. Okay. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all five hundred of y'all that's in this building. Put them hammers up. Go check out Moochie's um, theory. She's going to drop tonight. We're so happy to have you 500 here. Let us get 500 likes. Let some of my people get some new subscribers. They're trying to grow their channels. They all put out good work. They're funny as hell. Please, please, They're entertaining. Please. And some of them is single, ladies and gentlemen. You looking for some of that good chocolate? <laughs> you know the chocolate up in the corner. Yeah. Look, look, uh, it's this way. Look, I'm with up. Oh, 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 down there, down that way. The real action, that lady and gentlemen, down in the valley, baby. Down in the valley, where you, well, now because of roulette and because of Big L, you can get, you can get <laughs> the pink. You can get, get pills. pills and you can get P-U-S-S-Y. All the P-P-P's. All the P-P-P's. All the P-P-P's and it ain't no loan. <laughs> <laughs> it's really going to be pussy land. It's not going to be P-Valley no more. Yes. A lot of yes. who's been part. We going to yes. be mm. P and more P. <laughs> but here's the problem. Your boy Uncle Cliff don't know how to manage no money. The person who was the business side for him, he done, she done stole from him and left. And you, at this point, because of the deficit Uncle Cliff is in, he's going to have to be part of that pill business with Big L. And then on the flip side, he's going to find out his home lady is selling all her panty drawers and her men's underwear to whoever Roulette put her on the street for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, how, and, and, and what you think Uncle Cliff going to have to say about that, uh, Moochie? Rule number 55599. No selling P at the peak. <laughs> Did I do it good enough, y'all? It was, it was good, good enough. enough. Yeah. No, I think other people is going to have, you remember how on Harlem Nights we got somebody that's in charge of the girls? Well, that is <laughs> so we're going to be incorporating all that stuff. Oh, oh! It's gonna be a full. Well, you, got, you gotta hike them up like the girl did in Harlem. Nice. <laughs> oh, See, well, she, did, she did that. She did that last night, Lucy. She did. She told Roulette, "You ain't got nothing in that stable like this." And it's a lot of people. Pretend like I got a six-inch nail. It's a lot of people. 
that pay for what I got. Ooh wee! And that's scary. I said, I said whoa, whoa. <laughs> whisper, was, whisper was formerly the most scary thing on the show. Yeah, or, right. mm, 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 mm. And homeboy still ain't got his revenge for the car that Roulette took from him. He's going to get some revenge. Yes. No, I like how they kept that open ended. I like. I did too. I did, I did too. too. I thought he was gonna come yeah. back right away, but I'm glad they, mm-hmm. they. Now that she got a little stable. Yes. Something's gonna come back to bite her in the behind. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. gonna come back. Hundred percent. Yep. Keep it outside so. of the club. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're not trying to get them shut down. Now. Here's the problem. Here's the problem, Moochie. When that casino come, that's gonna bring you so many more eyeballs, and of course, it's gonna probably bring more police too. You're gonna have to step up the security, and you're gonna have people that's gonna go from that casino and gonna want to go to the pink. And like she said, we're creating a fantasy, but at some point in time, these niggas get tired of having a fantasy. They want that real deal, and that's the truth. Do you hear me? After you done paid three hundred dollars to have some mm-hmm. panty draws twirl on your nose for a little while, mm-hmm. you better just stick something in. Mm-hmm. I can tell you that right now. And Moochie, mm-hmm. if <laughs> she's got these girls doing that stuff in there, who sell undercover ain't gonna come in there and cause mischief and mayhem for pink. And that's mm-hmm. exactly why I was saying keep it outside of the club. Mm-hmm. If if it's outside of the club, Clifford could deny everything. Right. I know nothing about this. Yeah. This is not on my watch. Oh, Moochie. Moochie, I got a clip for you that, that will not let Clifford deny nothing if this person get caught. This is all for you, Moochie. None of this is for me and J-Mo. Not, none of it. None <laughs> of it. None of it is yes. for you ladies on the show. Because <laughs> five around that pole just the illusion that's the blessing. And there comes a moment in the night where these niggas want that real shit. Cause you ain't got nobody like me. In your stable, it's a lot of niggas. Oh, what I got. Well, I know you ain't gonna tell you how he's gonna call Uncle Cliff. <sighs> it's a lot of things I ain't told Uncle Cliff. <laughs> you know what, fellow? That's the I same love, chick I that love. was selling the stuff from Rainbow Shop, right? Where he was like, go to Rainbow and get some more stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uncle Cliff I, is going to notice something. Because she going to come in there with better gear. Yes. As, and, just and, like how Roulette and, came in there. And, and Mooch. Roulette can play it off because she been making money on that pole. And Mooch, she probably going to come in there sky high as a kite one day, too. Um, now, I just love the way Roulette looked her up and down. Blew her little damn bubble gum and then gonna she flip her finger. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> self. Gum. Popping that gum. Medea. Shout out to Medea. Tell mm-hmm. Perry. Shout out to Medea. Oh. Okay. Now let's jump to this one now, because I, I know y'all been waiting for this. My prediction was the most entertaining person that could win that job <laughs> would be Pimp Pastor Patrice. She goes and sits in that office, never having sat in a chair of power like that, and her ass legs is up in the air like this. You know, feet all up in the air dangling. I'm going to cover you on this one first, Monique. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. Well, Jesus, but, no, y'all. I'm over here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, well, Jesus that's, said, that's, that's what Trig wants. <laughs> Yeah, I said that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean you ain't lying. Yeah. He don't oh, want. He 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 like a little more, <laughs> more delicate. No, but Trig tr- like him a little bit more fit than that. Is right, that, right. That's right. more That's delicate more, looking. Yeah, he's like a little bit more fit than that. You know, he he, he, he don't like the feeling in that. His new chick's he, a little thick. His new chick is a little Nah, that but belly was nah, like, it was the Yeah, that new chick got a six pack, okay? Yeah. The new chick, the new <laughs> chick like got a six they, pack on. She look, Imani look like if they have to shoot the ones with somebody, to she'd be ready to ones. give it up. And, and <laughs> that chick looked the same too. Like she'd be ready, all right, mm-hmm. all right, so we gonna, we gonna get it in and they gonna fight. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. but but we all know she there's like she a lot of people. bobbing and weaving and all of that boxing like a dude, because she is a dude. <laughs> Anywho, 
I'm in so much trouble. I'm, yeah. no trouble. Me too. I'm right there with you. No, you ain't in no trouble, Moochie. You, this is my channel. They're gonna be they gonna hold me accountable for anything that happened up here. Go try to say well, you sat there and you laughed too. I'm sorry. Yeah, but anyway, uh, 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 I was about to go to Monique Nicole. Y'all done made me lose my train of thought. You think I gotta put my on music tonight? I'm gonna punish you. Oh, man, bitch. What you got? Oh, oh yeah, uh, Monique, talk about Pimp Pastor Patrice. Can we trust her now that she's got this position? What she did for um, her daughter, was that her doing it out of altruistic reasons or was it strictly because she just ain't got the time to be raising a fast teenager? I think it's twofold. I think it's that she don't got the time, but I also think that was her way of saying, I'm sorry. She's one of them old school parents that do not apologize for shit. That's one of the moms that beat your ass and then two hours later, you want something to eat? Bitch, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna say Damn. sorry. So I Damn. think that was her way of giving a little peace offering because she know that she's guilty of what she did to her, her daughter. So that was her little her little peace offering back to Sadie's. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Moochie, jump on in there. Is you go, with Pimp Pastor Patrice, is you in the pool pit or is you at the um, civil rights movement? <laughs> I think she gonna do right this time. I agree with Mo on that. Like she's the, the, what type of parent she is. Okay. And and, and and this is her peace offering that she's giving Mercedes. It's some peace okay. offering. Like, see, I got your daughter back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I I agree with her. I I think being that she's got to go back and forth with uh, Corbin. Is that Corbin or Kyle? No, that's Wayne. Being that she got to go back and forth with Wayne, mm-hmm. I think she's going to be all right in this position because he's not going to let her get too far away with stuff. Mm. But she's mm-hmm. going to put her foot down with stuff because you know she don't take no mess. So right. just something that she don't like, she she going to be like this person that's not going to budge. Yeah. So, so do you guys feel like we turn in a corner where we can actually trust her character, J-Mo? Do you feel like that? No, no, we no. Ain't, we ain't went that far. No. Well, I ain't go that yeah, far. Then. We ain't, yeah, we <laughs> ain't been that many characters. Uh, I still wait a minute. I want to see the storyline, but no, we don't trust her. Not trust, no. right? I want to see it for entertainment purposes, but baby, I don't trust. Exactly. <laughs> but can I ask you a question um, for clarity? So when it comes to the casino, is did it get to the point where she just said "eff it" because the city? Overpower the, the decision making, so it's just kind of like basically. Do y'all think she's gonna cause some trouble with the casino next next season still, or you think she's gonna let it go? She's she gonna let she it gonna go. Try. After she no, I think she's gonna try. She's gonna let it go. She I'll gonna see. try. I, 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 okay. She gonna try. Okay. She gonna try. Yeah. I think she's definitely gonna try to cause some mischief. But the thing is, she's coming off like she's doing this for moralistic reasons when we know better than that. So what is it that she wants from this seat of power she has? Because church and state shouldn't be mixing in the first place. No. So what is it that she wants from the seat of power she has as mayor? We need to know what she wants and whether or not the casino plays a role in her getting what she wants or if it harms what she wants. Because I can't think of anything that you can replace the casino with that What's someone she who's been about a pastor- this whole thing? Money. That's all she about is money. Because <laughs> you know yeah, people she, and people, you know, right, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So. And, 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 but the thing is, do you think that she can be bribed enough to finally go along with the referendum to have this casino? You feel like she can get to that point, Moochie? Yeah, I feel like she she's about the money. Look, any, any woman that got a, a, a money counter in church, <laughs> right. come on now. She was well, treating did, like like so now she got to go after the lady, the white lady with the with the rollers in her head. But yeah, she gonna she that's who she come to is gonna get into it. Right. Right. I, 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 look, need I'm with you on that prediction. I'm writing it down. Go Write it down. They are gonna to. get into it. That's they have to good, because that's because good. Haley's gone. Haley's yeah. gone, Haley's and going. Haley and, and Haley was the young whippersnapper. This lady right here done told you 
she told Haley, you learning a tough lesson about power, being seasoned. Now, she thinks she's seasoned, but Pimp Pastor Patrice is about her age and is seasoned just as harsh as she is. And yep. this lady might have the money, but Pimp Pastor Patrice got the power. Got and I learned from Little Kim, first you get the money, then you get the power. After you get the power, MFs will respect you. That's what I learned. Mm -hmm. I, 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 Patrice Woodbar and this lady is gonna get into. I forgot. Definitely. Thing. Definitely. I think this is Definitely. Book. <clears throat> Definitely. That conversation was everything, though. <laughs> also, wait, wait a minute. Taylor. Go ahead. Go. Jay mm -hmm. jumped in there. Talk to me about this conversation <laughs> with, with with Haley <laughs> and, and this lady that shut her down and called her a B. <laughs> yeah, man. Never count your chickens before they uh before they cook, right. you know. Georgia. And and she was over here talking about for, she she played herself. She she could have had five. She wanted ten. Tried to get the ten. Now she wants fifteen. Ended up with nothing. Um. So I'm glad you know. That happened to her because she yeah. was real cocky with it. She was cocky with them with with with, with Domantha Pink. And she was cocky with this lady, and she, this lady put her in a place. Mm. She should have took the five, like I said, way she back when we, was, when we was arguing about. It, I was like, "No, nah, you take that five million and you go." Hell you take yeah, it. damn you right. Take it. She got greedy, and even Clifford warned her. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, damn. she should have got that five and got the hell out of there. You took two hundred and fifty thousand. She told him about the three million that he would be getting if they sell. One point six to be yeah, exact. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, little, little, little calculator did that in his brain like that. One point six. Right. Little calculator. Little calculator. Yeah. Came up with that. But, uh, wow. So yeah. yeah. So this is definitely a storyline, ladies and gentlemen. We want to see happen. Pimp Pass Patrice is on a crash course with this lady. She's going to be using her money, and Pimp Pass Patrice is going to be using her. Power and her pulpit now. Pimp Pastor Patrice got the power, plus she got a pulpit. So uh, that televangelist money I heard pay for jets, pay for Rolls Royces, and all kinds of stuff. That's what she's going to be doing next. She's going to be a televangelist. That should really be a conflict of interest. It is. I need to ask the question, though. Right. Mm -hmm. I need to, I want to ask the question. If Go for she's, if she's, Doing this now with the with, right. with the uh okay she has the church right she's the mayor mm -hmm. don't be surprised if they try to get her caught up with some type of corruption thing oh they are Mucci you know they are yeah it's, yeah. and now that, now that he, now that you said Haley's not coming back yeah right. that's how they gonna get yeah. her caught up now that you said Haley's not coming back she's not going. Don't be surprised if she come back with two twins later on. If this right. thing, cool. if this goes further into in more seasons, they gonna bring her back. Oh yeah. It, mm. Unless unless yeah. they get rid of Andre all the way. Mm. If they get rid of Andre's character too, then we have no need for them to come back. Yeah. Well, while we talking about why why y'all own Andre, who has decided that he's gonna stay in Chuck and Lisa, I need y'all to explain something to me. Why was these women bringing him food? Man. He didn't win the mayor race. They was bringing him food. Haley bringing him cigars. And his wife is back there cop blocking. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go like my wife said. She ain't cop blocking. She ain't cop blocking, right? right. She should have been down there collecting yeah. the plates with him. Right. You sound like Crystal. Did you hear what Crystal said? Like Crystal okay said. Like you co signed all of this. Exactly. Crystal says she, if it was me, she would have been down there and every time they had a plate, she would have like, been down there. Crystal would have been like, smacking well, plates and everything. Smacking oh, plates. I'm, and, and Crystal probably wouldn't have did it like a typical one, sorry. No, what would have happened was whoever <laughs> plate looked the best, Crystal would have took that damn place. Oh, we're going to eat this shit. But then the rest of them would have got whapped down. You don't whapped know what down. kind of juju they put in that food. They probably That's a good point. made that food with their panties and stuff like that. Uh, uh, Panty draw, <laughs> well, they, 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 they did bring it in. They did bring in putting spells on people and stuff. So exactly. Are we? Are we? Ahead, somebody might nice spring your face Look. in shame, boo. Yeah. You bring you a little bit of panty draw parfait. Mm -hmm. no. And what we say in the south, 
what we say in the South, if you can cook, they just put your foot in it. These women was putting they, they, they put their foot in it. Pennies in the pee in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the putting people. it all in, waiting for him to eat it. Put the foot in it. Put the foot, the pee funk, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, wh- wh- what what do y'all want to see with Andre character and his wife, Jay? What do you want to see happen with the wife and Andre? The wife done said she's still in love with one of these Andre versions. She don't know which one, but she in love with one of them. <laughs> he really want to go because he in love with Haley. Where are they gonna take that story with him being a lawyer and Chuck Lisa? Yeah, I hate that uh, Haley gonna be off the show, man. She's one of my favorite characters. And, I uh, like the two, man. Yeah. Hey, go. Let me put let me put that up for the homie, man. Shoot. Yeah, I like the yeah, two. Man, I, 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 boy, uh, autumn night, baby. Oh. Mm. <laughs> hey, You'll like this one even better, my brother. Look at this. I know, right? She that white, white on white, my brother. That white on light. White on that light. Damn <laughs> bags <laughs> on bags on bags <laughs> on bags, baby. But uh, Dude, now that she gone, that's like messing up a lot of storylines. You mean to tell me you couldn't buy you a tote? Right. You, want, you got that trash bag? And a white suit. You see that lace front? Like you see that lace front she had to spend that money on? Right. You see that lace front she had to spend that money on? She already has some wigs on. That looks like a regular beauty store wig. Synthetic. She ain't spend that much money on it. <laughs> Birkin bag the trash bag. H E A. Oh my God. Birkin bag the trash bag, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Andre and his wife. She went from Birkins oh. to Brawny. Hey, All of the- Brawny. Brawny. <laughs> From Birkins to Brown. Wow. Wow. Now, before we go a little further, let me shout out. Let me shout out P Valley again tonight in terms of all the writers, the wardrobe, the score, the backup, the stunt people. You all did a marvelous job. So grateful. Some of y'all are going to be on this channel doing some interviews between now and a couple of weeks because I want to know some of the behind the scenes stuff. So when you get that email, it's from me. Open it up. This My electronic couch is not going to sting you. It's not going to burn you. It's going to make you feel entertained. So come and rock with your boy in the interview. We're going to get you up here sooner or later. Virtual couch. I agree with Crystal. <laughs> yeah. I, don't care. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what she said. It's the electronic couch. You, you, if you act up too much, you're going to get electrified. That's what happens. Okay. So this is going to stay just like that. <laughs> you know. Now let, let us get to the ultimate love story because I know you women got a lot to say about that. Because this, this, this. As great as this show was, it is still a love story. Mm-hmm. Take a look at this, and then we're going to break it down. Pushing into the supply closet. And then I was oh, waiting man. for Kidnapping? I'm a medic. Maybe why he just took his life that night. You know, that night I, uh, that night I, uh, is that what happened? But the one thing I don't want is to be the one to be the blame for holding you back. I don't want you to make love every night to regret. It's not your choice. It's mine. Mm. Mm. That's messed up. He done had to rape little Teak, Big Teak, and is raped that what him. He said? Is basic, that what he meant? Yeah, I mean, he so kidnapped he he him. It, he took the booty. That's what he said. He had him set up and kidnapped him into the supply closet. He liked the first time. It would, would, it would. But the thing he does, full I try to tell him that last night, Jay. I try to tell him that last night. It was like the third date. It was it was like the third date when Big T caught Stockholm Syndrome <laughs> and they was talking about having a candlelight vigil in the cloak closet and all that. That was like the third date. That wasn't the very first time it happened. So he did kidnap his ass. Then he went in there and raped him. And Ugh. Big Tweet, take, take it into me, wound up getting Stockholm Syndrome oh. and fell for the boy. And then that's how we got to the oh. love story. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, that was horrible right there. Yeah, that's, that was I, that bothered me. That really kind of bothered me when he was telling the story. I was with it. And then I was like, huh? You did what? it? You did y'all, what? y'all do remember y'all do remember that they did have a date in the closet yeah so 
they did want to have like a candlelight day, but it was not the very first time. It was not the very first time. So yeah, he took it. And that's why I asked Crystal and all my audience how y'all feel about Little Murder now when you know, and Little Murder even said himself, that was his little piece of heaven while he was in hell. Like, yeah, like it's some okay, damn, yeah, like it's some it, chocolate if cake. He took it, Teak was willing to give it. Yeah, chocolate I feel like cake. it wasn't completely. I wasn't yeah. that in, I guess. It's chocolate well, cake. <laughs> well, let me ask y'all this: How do y'all? How do you think men would feel in this situation with um, heterosexual women? Okay, I'm gonna set. You, I'm gonna tell you, like I said, my wife. Let's say when I first met you at Duke, I had your boss push you in a closet, yeah. knowing that I'm coming. You don't know me like that yet, but I seen you and I said that thing is right, right there. Light skin, that ass is fat, and titties is right, all that stuff is right. Mm-hmm. And you getting in this closet with me, you bending over. And I take it the first time. No, I didn't like it. I, no, that's, what? that's, I, we that's said the hard word. word. That's, the hard that's word. what I, I said. said. That's what I'm saying. I'm bob. If that's truly how it happened, I I'm bothered by it. I don't play about the R word. What, no matter what the sex, I don't play about that because that's. That's, that's that's gruesome. You don't want to, you know. That's, that's terrible. So if that's mm. really how it went down, but I'm starting to think like Moochie is kind of like. I feel like Big Teak was already gay, so I feel like it didn't mm. take much. I'm not saying that's what I'm saying. They might have been confused. I, 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 I'm not saying it's you. Right. He wasn't confused no more once it went in. Oh. Moochie, that oh, it, hey, he straightened him out. He straightened him out with that yardstick. He know what he wanted. He know I'm, what. Clinching, I'm clinching my butt right now. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mooch, if you don't stop drinking them Long Island iced teas up I'm in New York. No, no, no. Y'all can't accuse me that I'm drinking this. This is this is all Mooch, me. This is just all me. Show, what I drink today. Just because you show us that don't mean we don't see whatever else is behind that camera you got I'm over there. This is all I've got. This is all I've got. Ooh, child, let's move on, child. I can't deal with that. That that. Jesus. So okay, if you guys don't want to talk about Big Tweet and the meat, I'm gonna go to Jay and talk about the love story of of Little Murder and Uncle Cliff. And Uncle Cliff, mom came to him, basically said, "Stop pushing love away." And again, he's still trying to push love away in this sequence. So Jay. Talk to me about this sequence between Little Murder and Uncle Cliff. Yeah, well, I didn't see the pit. What? Which? Let me see what you was. Uh... Oh, just you know when they oh, was going, okay. they little talk. Yeah, yeah. And, they, and 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 like Lamont Tyson said, What's Little Murder saying? came out. <laughs> little Murder came out. Yeah, he gonna regret that too, cause now. He's going to be stuck in that little pond, I guess, for life. Mm. But he might be able to come out. I don't think he cared about that. Yeah, but I think what he was thinking is, I'm going to stay here and be with Cliff because I don't want him to be sad and commit suicide like Mm -hmm. Big Tweak. You know, Mm -hmm. because I couldn't be with him out in the light. He felt that he needed to kill himself because he was miserable. Right. So mm-hmm. I don't want Cliff yeah. to feel that way. So I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and be with him out in the light, and that way exactly. he know, yeah, which he didn't need to do that. And so we'll see what happens uh, in the end. But um, I definitely think he shouldn't have did that. Maybe, but if if he's not concerned with possibly going mainstream, then mm-hmm. maybe it's okay. But uh, he could. I mean, hey, uh, Lil Nas X has made it, so things is changing. Mm-hmm. Frank Ocean. Different yeah. type of rappers, though. Frank I was Ocean. about to say, that That's they, true. they are different type of performers. I would say performers. Yeah. Performers, yeah. Performers. Some people say they think it was a dream because of the special effects, little twinkle in the eye going on everywhere, or whatever, the little no, twinkle, no, no, twinkle. It was reality. It was not a dream. Okay, well, they, they, they oh, somebody said, "Look at Duffy face when they show the crowd." Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I put arrow, I put arrows on people that was like, "What the hell?" Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Look at uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look at Mercedes. Uh-huh. 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 How you gonna say something with your fair self? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. And it wasn't just me. 
Was it just me or did it look like Mercedes' daughter was looking at Maine and yes. wishing when she walked away? Yes, yes we talked was. about that last night with her fast, fast tail. Fast tail so. Didn't she just get an abortion? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how hell she, she, she ain't even stopped bleeding from that yet and always trying to give it to a grown mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I was saying that that stuff, that whole getting, getting her was going to be like a blessing and a curse for Mercedes because that is a real difficult age to yes. try to navigate with a kid that kind of feels like she doesn't owe you the same type of respect that a real oh. Yeah, because she, she, she flip-flops on her. Yes, she flip flops on Mercedes. Yes. She tries that's to act like that's her big sister. Big sister, mm-hmm. you know that? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's gonna be mm-hmm. a curse, Mercedes. You better buckle up, girl. Mm-hmm. That that could be a reason why Pimp Pass Patrice ain't want to deal with it. Uh-huh. But we had the debate last night, me and the wife, about Pimp Pass Patrice probably didn't want to deal with it because either way you go with her and her position being a mayor or being the um, pastor of the church, when when this little girl mess up, get pregnant or whatever she do, it's going to make her look bad either way you go. Either way. Yeah. However, doesn't it still make her look bad because she's the one who has the guardianship of this girl, even though she's passing her to Mercedes. So if the girl still mess up, she's under her guardianship. So doesn't that still make her look bad? That's mm. kitchen table. I don't think it's public. You know, I think I was like one of those phone calls like this, hey, you know, help me out, help a sister out. I don't, they ain't go to court, there ain't no papers, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? I think it's just Yeah, they, it, it, I, the only thing that's stip- that's, that, that, that got stipulation is what uh, the the husband was saying, how they did, he didn't want Mercedes to raise that kid. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's, that's the only stipulation, up, but it's, it's nothing documented, I don't think. Um, right. What's, what's up, Monique? I just wanted to talk about the um, murder in Clifford before we move on. Oh, go for it. Have fun. So, let me I give you this it. picture. I, first of all, before the end and all that cute stuff, their conversation that was some excellent dialogue. That was yeah. some excellent dialogue between the two of them. That was that felt so real. You know, murder opening up. Being um, being candid, being vulnerable, finally breaking down and saying what happened. Um, Clifford saying, "You know, I don't want you to resent me, or I don't want to be the reason why you don't do." You know, all I just love the dialogue. That was an excellent, excellent scene. And you know, when Murder decided to grab Clifford, <laughs> and dance, I just I was just cheesing. I couldn't believe it. I was like, "Oh my gosh, is this happening?" Oh my, mm-hmm. you know, that was cheesing. And it's just, it made me so happy. It's just like, you See? really feel like it's a love story. You don't even care about mm-hmm. what's this, what's that. What? It's just a love mm-hmm. story. It's just authentic. It's just, and right. it was portrayed really like just beautifully. So I just, now, that was now you see, part. Now you see why I said there was so many parts of this season that was um, solidified in this finale with enough cliffhanger to keep you interested for the next. That's why I said it was a good mix of both. Yeah. And the, the yeah. dialogue between Cliff and Little Murder the whole season mm-hmm. when they got together has mm-hmm. been excellent. And mm-hmm. y'all would have been real mad if they would have kept kicking the can down the road of this love story to yes. the next season. Right. Right. I will say though, I think he may regret the business decision because I feel like he lost a really good opportunity. Like you talk about um, Little Murder, bag. yeah, Little Murder going on tour with um, Tina Snow. You lost a bag, you lost exposure, mm-hmm. you lost yeah. experience. Yeah, I feel like you could have done that with Clifford and then went on tour. And I don't know. I just feel I, I'm nervous about that. If there's if there's going to be some regret on the business career front, but you know, he did we'll say he might have regret every night. He did say that. He did. He did say that. Cliff, Cliff, Cliff told I'm that. hoping not. It was his choice. It's my it was his choice. choice. He said it was his, it was his choice. choice. You're right. Yeah. 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 Really so hopefully, I mean, he can. You can still have feelings of regret, but you know, right. you, just, you never know how it's going to turn out. But I like the fact that he already laid it out there that I'm not going to point the finger at you. Now, I mean, Ooh, he goes yeah. little. He may. You know. You know when mad they um, people say shit, they just 
Mm-hmm. See, no, no, for sure. But yeah, but I yeah. think. See, Clifford was telling him that because, like Clifford said, I'm 40 and you half my age, so. It, mm-hmm. Uncle Clifford knows you ain't really lived a lot of life yet to be sitting and being right. stuck in here. You don't know yet, so. And, and maybe, maybe he feel like you know, Jay. I don't know if you've ever dated a cougar. I know I have, and sometimes they feel like they can breed all that experience into you as long as you putting what you need to put into them. Mm-hmm. So maybe, maybe that's what this but situation you put it into me. With. I put it back. They get figuratively or literally. <laughs> Both. Look, both, tonight, anyway. both, <laughs> both spelled with an F, Monique Nicole. Both <laughs> spelled with an F. <laughs> yeah, that. Well, you listen. You need the three Fs in people in your life. You feed them, you F them, and you be their friend. Ooh, okay, that's how it works. Dropping just, bars. All right, that's girl. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Into knowledge for the folks. Hey. Hey, we, we got years of knowledge on this show. By the way, we've got 600 people watching us, man. Wow. Can we get those 600 <laughs> likes, 600 shares, and 600 subscribing to my new, my crew here? This is a great crew. Some of these faces will be back tomorrow for the Power Raising Cane. I got the shirt on, getting ready for that. So check us out. Check them out. And be sure to catch Moochie's Midnight Madness trailer she's going to drop for y'all about what she think going to happen in season three. She ready to drop them gems, man. She's ready. There was another thing that happened that I got to let y'all, let y'all in on. What, 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 what? what? No, what, 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 what? I saw Monique uh, react. Oh, yeah. I, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. So, I done told y'all sometimes you just got to disregard yeah. them comments mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... <clears throat> Did y'all really think I wasn't going to talk about Mercedes and uh, Fawcett head fair? Did y'all really <laughs> think Fawcett I wasn't going to talk, I gonna talk about these two? So, must she get a pass just because she handing out $30,000 checks? Yes. No. <laughs> if, she, if she can hand out a check of $30,000 to somebody else, she can go spend twenty on her head. Go get a better wig. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, go get a better wig. It actually looks better. Better. It it looks better. It looks better in this. In this, it looks a little better to me. It do a it little do? worse to me. Yes. It looked like she took it off the head and just did like that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mooji. I was trying to be nice. It's, Obviously, I still hate you. it. But. And Mooji is still at that, that wig is not becoming of her. It's, no, she's After, way too pretty for this wig. The way you see her, look, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Jay Mo. It, it, are we going to ever see Farrah and Mississippi together again? I think we nope. is because uh, okay. I know that she said maybe not after she gave the money or whatever the case, but uh, Farrah really liked her. I think she really enjoyed that Mercedes experience. And, uh, <laughs> you know, she may, if anything, want to get back with her for business purposes. Cause it yeah. looked like they did yeah. good business. You cutting her a royalty that. check of thirty, yeah. Yeah, she yeah. said the royalties are forever. Right. Forever. That's what she said. She Listen, said sponsorships look, may be over, but royalties the royalties is last forever, forever for a long time. And think about yeah. this: that was just one exhibit. Imagine she come and set up and do two exhibits. Let Mercedes change into a different little outfit, a little something, something. Man, you what? Now she yeah. got a whole full little studio makeup, light bulbs with the camera, the whole mm-hmm. nine. I don't want this to be the end of Farrah. That picture and with Mercedes, with her doing a black, a black backwards, and you saw the sun setting. That was priceless. She yeah. even mentioned priceless. it on her Instagram. Right. And priceless. yes, that was a beautiful picture. And yes, yeah, she's got, to me, she could make money off of this. I think they'll have a partnership. She, they might even go into business together, but as far as them messing around, I don't see that happening. I think she shut that down. But then again, who knows? The writers may do what they do. Do what you do, writers. Do what you do. Put her in I'll one of them good me. wigs. Put her in one of them good wigs and just, let yeah, me do what they do. I'm, I'm more here for Farrah than I am for Maine. And that's just me too. Me too. I don't get... I'm ready for Little Murder to go and shoot him. Because, 
Nigga, I'm not crazy ass doing that. Not my job. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. Your, your dark job can go I, melt in the sun. You know that. I was like on the, like, I had my ear to the streets and I was looking, uh -oh. people was not liking how he was looking at Terrica. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. They, they Thank said you. he had some, like, Thank you know, like, I like yeah. that. Old vibe. Kind of look. <gasps> yes. Yeah, not only that, not only that, but he had to look like I can't get the mama. I I'm get the fast door. Mm -hmm. I think he was just and observing her. Just like, oh, no, this is a crowd? No, yeah, it's the way she was no. switching away. Like, mm -hmm. she giving him rhythm, too? It's up to mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't oh, get it from him. I, I don't I did. It. I'm, Look, I'm just saying the streets is talking. The streets they talking. Yeah. And me and Moochie listening. The streets talking. Mm. Me and Moochie listening. I saw and he gave a little eye. He but did. it wasn't that serious to your point, Monique. But uh, he did do give the eye. I don't want to say like that, though. That's why yeah, I'm saying. It wasn't that serious. He gave a little look like. It was ambiguous, Monique. I think he was, was. I think he was, was also because he was. He was low key pissed at Sadie. I feel like his energy was just different in that conversation. I mean, he was like, "Oh, that's your daughter." That's the first time you know he's met the girl. I don't know. And he already and mad he, at Mercedes. I, I feel like. I feel when, like. I feel, I feel like he did that. He was ambiguous in that acting on purpose. Okay. To leave it up to an interpretation, yeah. to just leave but it to more so about that, or do you think, like I said, his energy was off because thirty seconds later, he's telling her, "I'm mad at you." You know, he's he's you know, having an attitude towards her because he feels like she's picking murder side over him. So, I just think his energy was off. But could I could have been both. Was, no, it could have been both because his energy, oh, his energy was oh. off. It's in yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, his and, energy. Uh, and, his energy was definitely off and we talked about last week it was going to be a situation where it would be him versus murder and mercedes would have to get in the middle of it we talked yeah, about okay. that last that week on this channel we talked about and this was it right here yeah. now they didn't get in the fisty cuffs or pulling out guns and knives and stuff <laughs> like that but verbally it was a mess going on and would be, because we see these things happen so often Monique, would you be done with Maine if Terrica just threw herself at him and tried to do something with him? How would you feel if Terrica done that? I would be done with him. I would cut my chocolate off. Mm, cut off. Water <laughs> off. Mm. I'd be on a diet from chocolate. I would cut him off. Mm. Well, 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 girl, get out that Willy Wonka chocolate factory, okay? <laughs> get, get away from it. Just get the hell over up out the factory. Cause you don't want to be in nothing named chocolate fat, and we don't learn our lesson from Mark Kelly. Just get the hell up right. out of all of it. Yeah, it, all of it. His chocolate Wonka is the problem. I, exactly. Tall Glass says if they start with this pedo story line, I'm done with this show. I think they threw it out there to see what's gonna what they grab. Damn, y'all don't want to see. Y'all don't want to see. Right, right. right. What people is going through? I'm sweeping them under the rug. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, I'm, I, I, I'm. Listen, I'm not. No, I'm just, just agreeing saying, with you. But she I'm reading just saying, that like, comment. They yeah. throw, they threw it out to see what yeah. type of reaction they're gonna get. But right. they've been. Oh, oh, no, they they've been through it out. With a lot of stuff. I'm about to say they've been through it. Yeah, out. We've been they've been through it out. Yeah, right. with the they, father and Alicia. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. That's true. And, and, we and we're not saying that you have to show them messing around we're not saying that but you can elude to what's them. going on yeah. right right you you can elude to what's happening because ladies and gentlemen this stuff is happening out here on these streets and we want your eyes to be fully open exactly, exactly. fully if open keep on sweeping it under the rug and acting like it's not going not happening it's going to keep on perpetuating so you have to right. have conversation that's what and let me tell you take the right to have these conversations and, and just like in Texas is trying to get rid of the word slavery in their in they books and anything dealing with slavery. How, how effed up is that for America to do that? Tell the story the way it is. Tell, just tell the story what's happening. And that's what we're saying do with this. Tell the story and how it's going. Um, I'm going to get one more thing on y'all before I let y'all go because this has been a true delight just having y'all this whole season to mess around and screw with y'all and make y'all get quiet when I say crazy stuff. I got two things I want to talk about before I let y'all go. Here's the first one. Here's the first one. 
Didn't I tell y'all when two white men get together that's supposed to hate each other, one of them's a mulatto, and you see them celebrating, there's some white privilege in the mist. And ladies and gentlemen, there was a plan and some white privilege in the mist. These two are supposed to be at each other's throats. And Uncle Clifford put the premonition in Corbin's head. If you can't get to the water, you bring the water to you. And by George, Corbin wins regardless of who's the mayor because they bring in the water to them. Um, neither the diva. You you get first deals on this one. Talk to me about this plan that they orchestrated. And then back there drinking mimosas together, having fun, smiling. Listen, that was not all Corbin and Kyle's doing. That was Uncle Clifford going on. Mm-hmm. Fence, putting you know. that, that, that bug in his ear. Right. Right. So I, mm-hmm. I wanted that you know, that's one thing about Uncle Clifford. I think that she gets so kind of overlooked, but her wisdom and what she gives those rules and all the wisdom that gotten from her grandmother passed down generations and just learning and living and experience and stuff like that. She is smart. She may not be the best to handle the money, but he is smart, and so I love how that worked out. I, well, you know, for the white guys, I don't know. It worked out in her favor, but you know, I'll let the white guys uh, work <laughs> it out with Patrice <laughs> next season, but <laughs> that's how I feel about it. But yeah, I think that yeah. was all on the Okay. Um, Jay, what'd you think, man? Yeah, Uncle Clifford was in on it. My gripe with Uncle Clifford is you know how much money this is going to bring them and you settle for 250 Come on, Uncle. Yeah, I just couldn't believe that move for 250 Um And then with this, I mean, I know it's a show, but is the main road even by this place? You know, is they got it, a, they got a, um, they got a plow down all the trees and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, they, they no, I'm do. talking about traffic, cars, not oh, making they, they, the road. They're gonna, they gonna build, build some it. bridges. They're gonna build some bridges, Jay. They're they gonna have bridges. They gonna build. They, they gonna build. They definitely gonna have to build a bridge. Absolutely. Yeah, Uncle Clifford gave away a lot. Uh, yeah, because lot. Uh, Uncle Clifford may think. They'll make a lot more money because the casino up, so they'll get more clientele, and that's possibly true. But that's mm-hmm. slow money where you could have had that million plus in your pocket right now to do whatever. But you put emotions over business because mm-hmm. you got all these emotions and memories in this building. And I mean, eventually, even Uncle Clifford got to go and. I think that would have been the perfect chance to get that money. You could have built a new building and mm-hmm. made new memories and, and had money. A new legacy for your family. Right. A, a brand new legacy for your family. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Because right. that that's, chance that's is true. probably never coming again to sell that for that kind of money. At right. least not in Uncle Clifford's lifetime. So you let mm. millions I walk mean, out the door. And you really I, were sat there with nothing because... The two fifty you got, you turned right over, so you, you, mm-hmm. you ended up with nothing. You didn't even get nothing in it extra. I told you, he ain't good. She not good with money. She is not good with money. Mm-hmm. The worst. You know, they, they she her with money, but reason. she did it for the sentimental reasons. But I feel like if it got to pass through, they might be getting a better set of clientele. Oh yeah, definitely. That's coming. Yeah. Still, yeah, they yeah, they just took the money. They can't even revamp their place. Oh well, they're gonna have yeah. to sell the three P's, Moochie. You might as well just just go <laughs> ahead and get just just go ahead and get ready for the three P's, three Moochie. P's. That's gonna have to be selling three P's. <laughs> but the problem is, Moochie, she's still bad with money. Yeah. And, no, I agree and, and with she, you with this. And and when things start to turn around, if you don't have somebody helping her manage her money. I mean, it's not going to mean anything. Everybody's sitting around on 20 inch rim, Burka oh, bags. Little right. um, oh, there you go. Her tell her, look, okay. you look, you not doing this right. You spending too much money. I hope okay. so, because Haley kind of was checking her with stuff and yeah. she wasn't trying to hear her. Yeah. That's but right. I think, I don't, Moochie, I don't remember if it was you. I don't remember if it was Kay. 
or if they wrote it in the damn script. But didn't someone say something like for Clifford, like the pink is like her identity, something like that. Like that's all she knows. That's like her identity. I feel like yeah, because she was dancing in childhood. Right. I agree. Chose with you. her identity over money. I mean, I'm not saying it was smart, <laughs> but right. that's where. Her head, I guess that's emotions, right? I look so, at it as I, misplaced I identity. Because of her identity, okay. I feel like she feels like this is a safe haven. Right. Like the building is family and as even well. even if they need to, like, get us, like, are they using this to step up? Like how she said, I thought she, you know, I gave her a stepping stone and look at what she did. Remember when she mentioned that about Haley? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's where he's at with this. Okay. Yeah, but the whole thing is is that the stuff that they're getting ready to venture into, they can, that club can, whatever her identity or whatever she got wrapped up in that, that could be taken just like that with that risky stuff mm-hmm. that you going to business with. So at the end of the day, is it the smart decision? Is it not? You know what I'm saying? Hey, this ain't this ain't power. She's trying to uh, sell drugs at the club, like Ghost and Tommy. Hey. This is club. This is club pink truth. Now you feel me. This is this is this is what they could have done with club truth. It's about to be going down in club pink, pink, pink. The three P's. That's why it's about to be going down up in this joint. It's gonna be some good writing going on with this. But I'm Cliff. Should have took the money. You you should have took the money. You, you, you could have gotten more pink. You got you and penetration. Huh? Oh, what you heard? I said I don't want to say the. Okay. Okay. Pills and penetration. Oh, okay. Penetration. Penetration. Yeah. Ooh, that word. Okay. Well, you. How about dictation? How you like yeah, that? Yeah, that's better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured I'd throw the PPP because everybody get PPP loans. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh Lord, Mucha, here she go. Everybody getting the PPP. It ain't gonna be no PPP loans up in that thing. It ain't no loan. They got to pay it back. <laughs> Maybe Cliff, Cliff doesn't think that she she's gonna have any children. She don't have anybody to pass it down to. So maybe she wants to live her life the way she wants to live. You can't take it with you. Whatever. So I don't. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I figure out the logic behind it. But. I'm with you. I'm with you, Nita. Yeah. But but you all. But she likes to live a certain level of quality of life. That 250k can't satisfy, so you get the bag. You feel me? Like she likes to live a high dollar life, and you already done seen how she blow through 250k because Haley loaned her some money and she blew through that. Mm-hmm. So you got you, you got to do better than this. And then on top of that, they need to do something about them damn toilets. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, can, can the, the first check when they get back to being in, in the black. They need to fix them damn toilets, okay? Do something about them toilets. All the money they spend in the Birkin bag. It was like they were going in a gas station. All that yes. yellow in them toilets. Oh, it looked like it was yellow, brown, and all brown. <laughs> and, and and then you you see, you see kept seeing Whisper and <laughs> Roulette hanging around in the bathroom do, doing they coat with their nails. And when they you got nails that long, you, you know, microscopic stuff come up from them toilets. Get on them nails. And, <laughs> bruh, let me just, uh, 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 Sniffing no, not my doodle bees. Clip should open up the car wash again. I, I want to. Yes. When he said that, he was going to do that. He was going to open up, like, he said he going to make, like, an amusement park. Yeah, and he should yeah. do that. But how he going to do that with $250,000? Look, we I don't know you. because remember, Haley still know them accounts. They better close that cracker, that thing out, and crack up another one. Oh well, Moochie, if it's in the negative for thirty days, they close you out anyway. Then you got to go to Wood Forest Bank and Walmart. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she gonna they gonna they gonna have a green dot bank account. <laughs> they they gonna have to get the rush card. All right, chime. They, no. they gonna be using chime. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're gonna let y'all go on this, man. So the story ended where they didn't kill grandmother and she survived and she said she wants to have a party, a fuck up life party. And this is where we learned that 
her and uh, little Ethiopian here got a little thing Trap. going on for each other. <laughs> so, Moochie, we'll start with you, end with Jay, and then we'll get out of here. So, let me find out that Handy Honda draw. is going to get his um, citizenship from Grandma. <laughs> That's what he gonna do. That's what he gonna do. That's what he gonna do. And he I just mean, gonna be yeah. laying pipe to pay his way. Oh, yeah. you heard her, Moochie. You heard her, Moochie. <laughs> she, told, she told Cliff, I'm about to go upstairs and change my panty draw. Yeah. He made a moist. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Welcome Ooh. back, dear. I'm so happy to see oh, you. God. I you am very what? happy to be here. Hey, if, <laughs> if you if, if you 79 years old, you still leaky like a faucet down there, and it's because your choice, hey. You it's your it. choice. Stay let hydrated, it go, ladies. Let it go. Let drink it go that water. <laughs> she <laughs> ain't drink no water, Moochie. Look, that's how, yeah, that's look, how she was in the hospital. They had help. They was pumping up with IVs and everything. Oh, yeah, so she extra. <laughs> she extra. Look. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> well, call you next, man. Wait, Lord, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to follow up after that. Grandma. All I gotta, all I gotta <laughs> say is after Moochie, 90 day fiance. That's that's 90 day fiance. <laughs> She's my queen to <laughs> be. <laughs> no, I mean, hey, who? I, a couple of y'all were right on the panel as far as um, the possibility of grandmother surviving. So kudos to y'all who, you know, who thought about that because I, I, I thought she was a goner. I was, I was willing to bet money on it. I did so, say she was gonna pull through, y'all. Yeah. So you right? I did. Yeah, you did. For yeah. Yeah. Though, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think they was doing some subverting expectations as well. Because I think yeah. everybody thought that that's what it was. Yeah, they, they did right. a bait and switch is what I call it. <laughs> they knew what they was doing. They knew what they was doing. Like that was a bait and switch. For sure. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a good bait and switch because yeah. I didn't mind. Yeah, I, 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 I like Loretta Devine. She can yeah. sing, and, mm -hmm. and seeing her play this role, it's, it's funny in a good way. It's not funny in a derogatory way. It's funny in a very good, entertaining way, because mm -hmm. this is a Oscar-level winning actress, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, playing this role. That was she's bringing this role to life, and she's ready. having fun. She mm -hmm. says she has yeah. so much fun on these scenes, everybody respects her and is treating her like gold. And she's oh, like, honey, I'm one of y'all, is what she said in her interview. I'm one of y'all. Let's just have fun and make this thing work. So nice. I want to see more with grandmother. I, and look, I won't even be mad at y'all. Y'all put a scene in there where um, Ethiopia is beating her meat. We're kind of oh, forever getting it in. Yeah. So, uh -huh. you know, go ahead, no. go ahead and let them know that. Like y'all said, the old lady still. Wait a minute, y'all the same women that yeah. just got finished telling me that these old ladies need to still be getting it in too. Y'all the same women. Nobody said it. Look, ain't nothing wrong with getting some. I don't want to see that. You know, post like laying in the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah y'all yeah. like after, yeah. like. Yeah, you don't want to see Loretta Divine yeah. legs. No, we not, we not, I don't want to see her get bitty busy, but I still want right. to see them in the cover. Well, I mean. Cover. Like that. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to see her giving up her social security check to Wakanda Forever either. Oh, but damn it, we yeah. gonna see that. Wakanda will forever need some citizenship. He's gonna do his part. He an African prince, and all he need is a little bit of money before Come he can get his inheritance of millions. <laughs> and then <laughs> you gonna try to pull that scab on her. <laughs> let's, let's look at that card and see who was right. Who, who was right up where? You know, were we right about some stuff? Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Monique Nicole, deaths, uh -oh. Little Murder, and Big Tweet. So you got Big Tweet right. All mm -hmm. right. Um, Miss K, she had Miss Ernestine and Keyshawn. So she ain't get nothing right. Muchella had Ernestine and Derek. Mm -hmm. Larry had Derek and right. Ernestine. Mm -hmm. Um, Nita had Derek and Big T. Mm. J Mo had Big T and Diamond. Ooh. And last but not least, me, me, me bringing up the rear. Because Diamond's in the cliffhanger. Right. Yeah. Me bringing up the rear, I had Big T and Ernestine. 
And I got teeth, but ain't, ain't nobody get her in a stick. So it looked like I was the closest. Yeah, he was the closest, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yep. <laughs> so that's why, that's why we do these, ladies and gentlemen. I have my proof. See that right there? Yes, sir. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that on power, too. Um, we're going to have to do that on power next week when we come back and do this whole thing with everybody. Let everybody know what's going on with that show. And I'll be back to review episode one tomorrow, man. Um, be sure to like this video. Subscribe to everybody's channel. They put out great work. They're trying to grow their presences. I'm here to try to help them out and enjoy and fellowship, sistership, brothership with everybody. Support my man, J. Mo. I don't want y'all to do J. Mo like Mike Jones, okay? When this man blow up officially in Hollywood, don't be trying to be on him then. Yeah, hey, don't, don't, like back then they was all Yeah, don't be trying to be on them then. But you can be on them if you're spending money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> if you ain't spending no money, don't be trying to be on them then. So the best thing to do is subscribe to everybody right now. So they can give you, you already play. got somebody calling him making smile. That's right. Oh, that's good. That was y'all. That was y'all making me smile. <laughs> well, y'all do it. Y'all do it all video, the time, man. We'll be back tomorrow. I'll see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>